Suppose I want to put my course outline into this course. Three, I'll show you three ways to do it. Now, first trick, I'm just going to put us back to normal. You've got to turn editing on. Okay, I'm going to put it in this welcome section. Add an activity or a resource. Here's all the kinds of things you can add. Way, way down at the bottom is file. And hiding, just out of sight, is the add button. Or you can double click on file. We'll do it the hard way. Uh, I'm going to call it course outline. And I want to go down to select files. So I can drag and drop. That's the easy way. I'm going to do it the hard way first though. I'm going to click the file thing and add a file. I'm going to upload a file from my computer. I'm going to choose it. It is my aquatic cryptozoology course outline docx. Uh, I'm the author. Sure, it's under a Creative Commons license. Upload this file and save. There it is. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to show you way number two to do this. Okay, add an activity or resource. Scroll way down, double click File, Course Outline. I'm going to spell outline correctly, approximately correctly. Drag and drop to there. If I just make my window a little bit smaller, there's my course outline. Drag it there. Save and return to course. Okay, number three, the easiest way of all. Drag to there. Ha ha ha. Now, this has the disadvantage of taking the exact file name and putting it in there. I already know I'm in aquatic cryptozoology, so I don't need that as part of my name. If I click this pencil, I can take out the part, whoops, that I don't want. Maybe make that a capital C because I'm fussy that way. Escape to cancel. Enter when finished. Press the enter button on your keyboard and there it is. Now, while I'm here, I'm going to do the PDF version as well just to show you the difference and why we try to not put uh, proprietary file types like Microsoft Word and Microsoft PowerPoint into our online courses. Okay, I think I'm running this in Chrome. I'm going to click on Course Outline. What happens? Oh, it goes down here to my Open This file and I have to launch Microsoft Word in order to read it, which means your students have to have Microsoft Word on their computer. Whereas if I click the PDF version, it just opens in the browser. And I can download it, I can print it, I can do all the things you want. So when I put it in as a Word document or any other proprietary file type, the student must have that software on their computer and the browser is going to download it and make them launch the software. Whereas if you put it in as a PDF, it just comes up. So that's the preference is whenever possible, put it in as a PDF. I'm going to just tidy up. Capital C, hit enter to save. Okay, I got my course outline in.